Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new week in my life. If you guys happen to be new to my channel, I'll give you guys the rundown on me. Um, I'm 25 years old. I am a content creator and a photographer, and I live in Austin, Texas. The next couple of weeks at home are going to be kind of chaotic because I just want to get so much done before I go back to Georgia for Thanksgiving and the holidays. I'm so excited. I think I've told you this already, but I am going to New York right after Thanksgiving, and I've just been watching all the TikToks about like what to do because I'm trying to plan out my itinerary and my outfits. Like I feel like it's just coming up so soon and it's just been making me so excited i feel like the past couple of christmases i have not been in the christmas mood and there's no way i can go to new york during christmas time and not be in the christmas mood so i'm so excited for that and this morning it is like a rainy morning i don't know what's going on with the weather because it's also kind of like muggy and not like super cold out i'd prefer at least it to be cold out if it's gonna rain because like it's so gross if it's like humid and I actually have a shoot with a couple later today and I really hope it's not that wet outside and just like not gross um but anyways I wanted to put my heat on this morning and it was giving me an error message that like the heat wasn't turned on yet and I just didn't know that was a thing here in Austin because I feel like I've been able to turn on my heat before. Then I like did something where I could smell that the heat was on. Um, and then the fire alarm started going off and I was like, all right, I'll just like turn it off. So I'm kind of in the mood for some hot chocolate. I know I probably should make myself like a protein shake instead, but I haven't had a hot chocolate in so long and that just sounds so good. I'll probably just make some toast and butter. Um, I am really trying to like stick to intermittent fasting um, and just like eating kind of like after noon if possible. Like obviously if I'm like starving, I'm gonna eat whatever I want. But especially with Ryan being in Georgia and just like me living alone now, I feel like it's so much easier to almost just like get your workday started and kind of be distracted and not really even feel hungry until noon. First hot chocolate of the season. Cheers. I went to take Sophie out and got a few packages from the locker room and my backsplash came in and I don't know, I'm just like really, really wanting a white backsplash because I feel like it would just make this kitchen so much better. And I feel like I'm gonna be here for at least another year, so why not change it up? It's just like a peel and stick kind of thing. Um, so I did not realize it was actually this small though. I for some reason thought it was gonna be bigger. I didn't measure anything, I just kind of like did it in my head. <laughs> of course it was wrong. So I may have to get another one, but it didn't really take that long to ship. So I'm just trying to like place it and see how many more I need. I think I just need one more packet because it came with kind of a lot of them. And there's even a couple more right there. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm not the best at DIYs. So please pray for me. And I'm really hoping that this turns out pretty good. I feel like it's not as bright white as I wanted it to be, but I feel like it's it's not bad. And I made sure to get the one that's more matte in case I wanted to ever like film with my lights in my kitchen. It wouldn't like glare too much. So hack if you ever want to do this for yourself. I think it's gonna look really good. Like, I feel like you can't even tell it's like stick on paper, even though I didn't even put it up yet. I am on primed painter's tape, you know, like the thick blue tape, because I saw on one of the TikToks that was like applying this peel and stick backsplash. Um, one of the comments said, if you put painter's tape before you do it, it's easier to peel off because sometimes this like peel and stick stuff could leave a little bit of residue. And I don't really want to deal with that. So I'm going to try to wait and see, well, I have to order more anyways. Oh, I can get them overnighted. Oh wait, if I buy two, it would be on Wednesday, but if I buy one, it's only overnighted. That doesn't make sense. One pack of the one that has 10 sheets in them is $50. I think I'm just gonna buy two more 
and see and maybe just like return the other one if I don't need to open it um because I feel like it filled yeah I think I'm definitely gonna need two more because we still have to do like right above it and then this whole corner so yeah but I feel like it's gonna look really good I'm excited in my last couple of vlogs, I told you guys that I had some Amazon sweaters coming. I ended up ordering a couple more, so I want to do like the big haul like all at once. But here is one of my best Amazon finds probably ever just because I feel like this is such good material. I have a Skims dupe for you guys, and this is it. I genuinely don't know if my body's ever looked more snatched in my life, but this material is like kind of like a seamless material and I've actually washed it twice already and I haven't really noticed any pilling. The quality is just really freaking good on this thing. Um, I think it's only $28 right now and they have a bunch of different colors. I paired it with my Amazon trouser pants so I will go ahead and link it down below for you guys. You guys know what time it is? Packing up the camera bag. So I'm currently vlogging on the camera I'm taking so I have to change the lens on this and I usually like to clean my lenses while I'm at home so I don't have to worry about it when I get to the shooting location. I was so worried because on the way over here there was like rain clouds but oh my god it's gonna be such a good session. Look at that sun flare. That's how you know. I just got home from my shoe and I knew it was gonna be such a good session. My couple is so cute and I think it turned out really, really well. It's kind of weird because I literally just went into my kitchen and saw the backsplash and I was like kind of caught off guard because at first I only saw the bottom. So I was like, whoa, it looks really good. Cause at first I didn't think it was wide enough but now that it's the brightest time in my apartment of the day it just like looks so good it's like glowing i feel like it's gonna look really really good whenever i actually apply it all um but i think i'm gonna take advantage of my makeup still being like fine <laughs> um and do a couple more tiktoks before the sun goes down happy tuesday this morning i knocked out filming a video and i'm so excited about it it's all about my veneer process how much they cost where do i go all that information is going to be in one video and i'm hoping to post it in the next week or so since i'm going home for thanksgiving and the holidays i really am trying to get as much content filmed and just ready to be edited so that i could like edit at home so i got that done this morning because i'm realizing that the sun just goes in and out during the afternoon and so when you're filming a sit down video it's so annoying to like have to adjust the iso or like the lighting i brought out my two panel lights for the video because it was pretty dark this morning but it worked out perfectly fine like i think it looked really good um so again now i just have to edit that also i wanted to post a video today about my couch in the living room and I still need to film a little bit for that video and I'm just waiting for the sun to actually come out because even if it says it's a cloudy day here in Austin I feel like around 3 p.m. is where it gets kind of like sunny in my apartment so I'm waiting for that to happen um, before I can film that. For the rest of the year, majority of the days, I feel like I'm going to be back in Georgia. Um, so I'm really trying to be super efficient while I am at home um, because I just have so much of my own content to film. And then I'm trying my best to kind of stack shoot days on top of each other. So for example, tomorrow I have two shoots and then Thursday, I just have a coffee date with my friend, but that's for fun. And then the whole rest of the day, I can work on my content. And then on Friday, I have two shoots. And then, let's see, on next Wednesday, I have two shoots. Just trying to be as efficient as possible. And then hopefully like those days where I'm photographing other people, I don't personally have to wear makeup if I'm not really um, shooting any content. Although I feel like Every day I do put on makeup, I feel so much more productive. Like even today, I put on jeans and I feel so much more productive than when I wear just sweats. Um, so even if it's not like a content day necessarily, I do like to put on like a light layer of makeup sometimes just because, you know, I'm vlogging. And then I feel like TikTok's very casual where I can always make content wherever I am. 
Um, but makeup does make me feel a little bit more confident. But I'm going to take Sophie out for a little walk and just to kind of get away from the screens because I feel like it can be a little overwhelming sometimes. So I'm just going to go take a little midday break. Some more Amazon fall stuff finally came in the mail. And this is the first one. It has this like really cool waffle material. It is a cropped shirt and it has like a little high in the front and then... Well, I guess this would be high and then this would be low, I guess. Anyways, it's just not all one length. I really like this color. I was going to get the tan, but I literally got a lot more tans than the other sweaters. So I decided to branch out a little bit. Next up, we have this like oversized crew neck, but it's not super thick. It's almost like a shirt dress kind of thing. I just felt like this could be really cozy for the fall and just like hanging out at home not sure how i'd style it if i was going out honestly i do have these like white off-white um knee-high boots or the calf boots i feel like that could look cool with this um and then let me try on the other one this is a really cool sweater because it has that outer stitching detail um and then just like white accents everywhere but the main color is this tan. The quality of the sweater is actually so good. Um, definitely recommend to even get it for like a workwear sweater for the fall. I tried on another Amazon sweater yesterday because I thought all these sweaters came yesterday, but they actually came today. So I'll just put that after this clip. This brown mocha off the shoulder. This side is not really off the shoulder, but this side is. And it has this like cute little flap. I personally am not wearing a bra, but obviously you could wear a strapless bra. I feel like this could be super cute for Thanksgiving, maybe dress it up with like a tan booty or something. It's 521 and I was really, really hoping that the sun would actually come out today because usually it says it's cloudy and then it shows up around like three to five. But today it was cloudy the full day and I was really banking on the sun to come out for my couch video, which I just ended up bringing out my light but I just love when the sun like comes through my apartment and looks just really beautiful. So kind of bummed about that, but I still want to post that couch video today and not like delay it any longer. So I'm just gonna work with what I got. Um, I'm gonna take Sophie out and just like play ball with her because I was gonna go on a walk and I wanted to ask my friends, but no one could go like that early because obviously like they all get off work at like 5, 5.30 and that's when the freaking sun sets now. It's so sad. But really quickly, I wanted to show you guys some PR that I just got from Milk Makeup and Pharmacy, which is a skincare company. I just put everything in here, but we got some cleansing balm. I'm really excited for this gel moisturizer from Pharmacy because um, I am running out of my moisturizer currently. Um, we have a toner and then this is their cleanser. And then all of this milk makeup, which I'm so freaking excited about. I swear I just heard about this product on TikTok, the Hydro Grip Set. And then this one's a primer. They also sent over like skin tints and like a highlighter. I think I might be the most excited to try out this little bronzer stick. I wonder if this is like the actual size or if this is the mini. I'm kind of curious about that, um, but I put on this earlier and it's like a lip plumping little gloss and it feels so good, smells so good and I really like the color. I'm in my cozy clothes, AKA the Skims Boyfriend tee, which is like what I wear every night if it is clean. I think I have like four of them and that would be a great thing to put on your um, Christmas gift if you don't know, or Christmas list, if you don't know what to ask for, definitely ask for the Skims Boyfriend tee. I don't want to take off my lashes so I could reuse them possibly. I always use the Ardell Wispies. But I'm trying out the Pharmacy's Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I've definitely tried a couple of these and I just don't know if I love a cleansing balm. Because sometimes it like gets in my eyes and then literally my whole freaking vision goes blurry for <laughs> the rest of the night. So maybe that's like a me issue. But still, I don't know. Like it works really well, but I think I'd just rather use my Ole Daily Facial Wipes. It's kind of like a makeup like remover wipe, but you have to get it wet so you're not like 
being too abrasive on your skin. I know I pretty much have not left the house these past two days and I usually, oh, I'm just smearing mascara all over me, but I usually like to try to get as much content done in the house as I can so that on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, I can like have my schedule open and doing, you know, coffee meetups or shoots or really like anything out of my house. So I definitely get outside like later on in the week. I can already feel like the oil in my eyes. We're gonna do a double cleanse because I really want to try out this like whipped cleanser. Oh, I kind of like that consistency. Good news, I can see. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go in with the moisturizer. I'm not really sure what I'm gonna eat tonight because I finished off the butter chicken that I made. And I don't know, I feel like I have some random soups that I can just eat. I'm honestly a little over Bachelor in Paradise right now. It kind of sucks because that's usually the best like season, like Bachelorette. Wait, no, Bachelor is usually second, but Bachelor in Paradise is always like filled with such good drama and it's such a good show, but this year it just like isn't it. I don't know why. Good morning, it is Wednesday and it is finally hair washing day. I think I washed my hair on Friday maybe? I can't really remember, but I've been doing those like heatless curls, you know, like the rod that sits on top of your head every single night. And it's like my new favorite thing because I'm not using heat on my hair and it turns out perfect every single time. Um, so I'll do it for you guys in this vlog later on in the week, but I think I'm gonna straighten my hair today um, just so I could like blow dry it really nice. But I wanted to do this hair mask again. I think I put it on in my last vlog. It's just the Redken Extreme Length one. It just smells so good. And obviously my hair felt like really nice after. So I thought I had two shoots today, one at 10 a.m. and then one at 2.30, but I realized the 10 a.m. shoot was actually for Friday. Like in our messages, she said Wednesday and then she switched to Friday. And I think I already like blocked off Wednesday in my calendar before she said that. So I'm super happy about that because I wanted to go to the gym and just like walk on the treadmill. And then I also finally want to put up the kitchen backsplash. Um, today's the day. I'm actually terrified just because I don't want to like mess it up. And I'm not like super great at, you know, those kind of DIY things, but how hard can it really be? So we're going to do that after I shower and go to the gym. Since I thought I would be out all day, I stayed up till like midnight finishing a video that I wanted to post yesterday about my couch, but I decided to just wait till today because sometimes like posting videos so late, it just never gets like that many views, I feel like. Um, so I decided to not rush it and just post today. So I have that all scheduled. I did the thumbnail and everything. I definitely work better under stress, so I'm happy that I got that done. Here's the gym fit of the day. I'm wearing a set active um, set. This is their Sculpt Flex line. It's like their ribbed kind of thing. And I'm so excited for Black Friday because that's like the one time a year I shop at Set Active because their sales are so good. And people have been nonstop talking about the Lux form material. So I think I'm gonna try that out this year. And they just have like a bunch of new styles. Like I feel like they definitely um, branched out in terms of like what kind of apparel they sell. So I'm very excited to see what's on sale this Black Friday. Um, and then I just have the matching sports bra on. And then this little tank from, I believe, Lululemon. I just feel like I'm not that confident yet <laughs> to go in just my sports bra, but the day I am is gonna be the best day. And I just need to really stay consistent. For me, it's hard to kind of incorporate a fitness routine unless I'm waking up at the butt crack of dawn and I should I should start doing that honestly just to get it out of the way because I also like to work out in the mornings and if it doesn't happen in the mornings it doesn't happen but especially with daylight savings now like the sun sets at five so being a content creator you want like 
to use as much sun as you can so let's say you're getting ready for like 30 minutes then you have to like do content and like i was saying yesterday um like filming at least for sit down videos it's good to film in the morning so i want to get that over with and done before like the sun starts coming in and out and like all these factors and i could definitely just you know work out at night and maybe i should try it but i also think that just like the gym is so busy at night because everyone else goes at that time and i feel like the gym's so empty in the mornings and it's just like nice because you really have to like be intimidated i know this is all just making excuses and i just really need to be consistent and discipline myself and i do want to start getting up earlier every day especially with daylight savings since we gained an hour i'm trying to take advantage of that so i set up my hatch alarm clock to like start waking me up at like 6 50 um but you know so easy to snooze it when i don't have like a corporate job you know to like log into or anything like that anyways i'm gonna go head to the gym and i think it was last week that i started deleting and going through like my camera roll um because i have so many freaking videos that take up so much storage i know that i could delete half of these videos but some of them like you know you want to keep because you could possibly make reels and tiktoks out of them so i have never taken like as many videos on my phone as i have this year so i'm just going to try to like organize all of that i also started making some albums on my phone like make this into a reel for your photography page make this into a reel for personal page all that so whenever i don't have like a tiktok idea i could just go back to that and see if i have anything to use It is time to apply the backsplash. I just like cleared off all the countertops and now I have to do a little bit of cleaning. I saw um, someone comment on a video saying that it's best if you put painter's tape down first. So I think I'm gonna do that. I'm really nervous I'm gonna mess this up, but positive thoughts, I can do this. I also ordered two more packs, but only one got delivered and the other one's like running late. So hopefully, I'll be able to just get like at least this part done. It's looking so good so far. Unfortunately, I did run out of like the little tile things and one just got delivered, but the other one's coming on Friday. So I'm hoping I can just get at least this top part done. Just like get that like front facing view finished, but 
It looks so good. I just made ramen. I have to eat it super fast because we're going to a shoot. I'm actually um, photographing the girl who did my like branding for my um, personal brand. Her name's Caitlin and she said that she's participating in, I think it's Miss Austin um the pageant so i'm taking like some pageant headshots today which will be the first time i've done it so it'll be really fun and exciting so we're at the lumen room which is kind of right off south lamar right and this is caitlin she did my branding <laughs> and we're taking some headshots for her because you're going to be in what pageant is it running for miss austin that's so exciting <laughs> where where is it happening i have no idea but it's not until like april okay oh wow do, like, do you have to like, tr like train with yeah, the girls, or like on your own? Getting headshots today. Oh my god! It's a whole thing, the whole fiasco. But I have a full six months to get ready. Wow, that's amazing. So we're looking at her Pinterest inspo. So I really like this. Oh, one. looking yeah. back. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, that's that's really pretty. She's gorgeous. Like, kind of like a shoulder. Yes. Kind of situation. I that's that really pretty. Really and then. Maybe even more of like a close up on your face. Or maybe, and we can use the box for that so you can like get on yeah. your knees and kind of put the, cool. and they look so freaking good. Sonali is the best yeah. photographer, I'm not even joking. <laughs> that means a lot. <laughs> and I feel like I never really use these lights for shoots, but I might have to start, especially in studios, they just look so good. Like they, they were like that pageant it portrait. It, it was <laughs> honestly just so good. I just got back from the shoot at the Lumen Room and I have the urge to like finish up this project behind me, but look how good this side looks. I'm obsessed, like it actually looks really, really good. Um, and I feel like I was on a roll, so the other package just got delivered. So I'm gonna see how much I can do. And then I'm hanging out with my friends tonight at 6.30, we're gonna go to that electric shuffleboard place that I showed you guys in my last vlog. It's like the newest place on Rainy Street and it was actually so much fun. So all my friends are going today and their food was also really freaking good. So excited to not have to cook tonight. getting there and it, I really like the backsplash. Like I'm so happy I did it and I'm kind of mad that I didn't do it earlier. But here's my outfit for the night. Like I said, we're going to Electric Shuffle, which is a place with games, food, drinks, all that fun stuff. But the game is Shuffleboard and I've played it at bars, but this is so much cooler because it has this like high tech component to it. I'm pretty sure they said that like a rocket scientist literally designed it. Basically there's sensors and cameras to then show your score on the screen so then you actually know like if you're winning or losing shuffleboard which is really nice because I honestly don't really know how to play shuffleboard um, but I'm pretty sure they have like a bunch of different games that you can like pick between um, almost like top golf where you can choose what kind of challenge you're gonna have so i'm really excited i'm going to lift over there and i'm so lucky because a lot of my friends actually moved over to the east side so whenever we have to uber or lift somewhere we just do the add a stop thing and split it and it's so nice
girls night was so fun and the food was just so good i'd honestly go back probably just for the food i mean the game is like super fun too also i heard that they have a brunch deal i think it's like 50 dollars per person you can get a whole bottle of champagne per person and then you get like a brunch board and like food and stuff for the group um i don't know if the game is included but i'll have a link down below if you guys are interested in like booking a little party or a girls night or whatever i feel like game days like football game days could be kind of fun there too because they have like a lot of tvs around each little shuffleboard area but tonight is the night i'm finally going to show you guys my perfected way of doing the heatless curls and you're gonna have to stay with me because it's not super easy it's not just like wrapping this and then taking more hair well it kind of is it's easier just to show you guys so let's get started i'm gonna take my bangs and i feel like the most important part is to not have super wet hair yes that is the most important part but another important part is when you're um laying it down on the thing make sure it's kind of more flat than like twisted or anything like that i'm just gonna spritz my hair very lightly with this playa new day mist just to get it like a little bit tiny bit wet but i've tried this multiple times with dry dirty hair and I just add that spray and it's like I wash my hair the next day. So highly recommend. Okay, so first grab the bang, lay it flat, twist it, and then bring it back to where it was in the front. Okay, so we're gonna hold this part and then we're gonna grab like a piece of hair in the back. Make sure it's brushed out so it can lay flat again. And then we're gonna take this piece of hair and twist it in front so that first piece of hair is totally separate so basically we're just having two pieces of hair that we're gonna kind of you know bring more hair into going down the curling rod and like crossing over each other I really hope this makes sense I have no idea why this works better than just doing like one piece of hair but it does and like every time it's been so perfect i love that i can get up and just not worry about doing my hair it's like the best thing and i'm gonna link this curling rod thing below you can get it on amazon look in the back one again looping it around the front and make sure you're pulling pretty tight because by the end, especially on your first try, it might get a little loose. So it's always better to be a little bit more tight. Okay, so now I have all the hair in the two pieces from the side. So now I'll just take the two hairs and do what I've been doing without getting new hairs. I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but basically take the front piece, looping it around all the way back to the front, pulling it pretty tight. And then taking the back piece, looping it around, pulling it all the way back, pulling pretty tight. And again, pulling tight. And again, <laughs> pulling tight. And go until you have like a little tiny piece at the end of your hair. Like this much, maybe. And this curling rod comes with like a claw clip and some hair ties. So you're just going to tie it off. And this method, I noticed, gets a lot less loose when you're sleeping than the other methods I've tried. Now I'm just going to fix this claw clip because it got a little messed up. Surprisingly, okay, surprisingly, it's really not that uncomfortable to sleep in either because I feel like that's like the first question I get when I tell people about this little thing. Good morning, happy Thursday. This is my hair after a full eight hours of sleep. Honestly, it really didn't move around that much. It didn't get loose, so I feel like this method is just honestly one of the best. But let me show you guys what it looks like after I take all this off. 
ends can be sometimes tricky. Um, but just kind of like wiggle it a little bit. Take off the claw clip. So this is what it looks like immediately after you take it out. So you just want to like separate the curls. And if I don't have anywhere to be, I will just keep my hair like this or like put in a claw clip. But if I have somewhere to be, I'll grab this like wired brush thing and then like lightly brush through it to give me these like really soft curls. Obviously throughout the day, they'll fall a little bit, but I kind of like when they fall too, so like I don't mind. But like look how easy that was. I just took maybe five minutes, especially when you get the hang of it. You can do it really quick. Um, and so I just I just took five minutes last night to do my hair. And now I have perfectly curled hair that I almost never have to touch up. Especially since I've started doing this method. So definitely recommend this thing. It's amazing. I just got ready for the day and this is what I'm wearing. Pretty casual, starting with my little Converse. And then these pants are from Abercrombie from like a couple years ago. They're just so comfortable. So I wanted to make sure I was comfy for today because I'm going to a coffee shop with my friend because I have a lot of editing to get done. And I was like, you know what? I need to like get out of my house. So we're doing that today. Um, and my top is from I think it's called Citizen, but I'm renting it on Fashion Pass. Okay, we made it to the coffee shop, and I honestly thought there was going to be more seating, but there's like one person at every single table, so all the tables got taken up. But we're just going to kind of like peep in every so often. It's not like too hot out here, but it's a little humid. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're gonna work out here. I definitely always need a charger like literally 30 minutes in because my computer, it just drains it so bad. But I brought us some Costco muffins because I had like two left and I was like, I just need to give one away. <laughs> but it's really cute out here. And I got a chai, which I feel like it's darker than usual. So shall be interesting. It is 1 p.m. and I came home because I thought I had a webinar, but I think it was yesterday, so I missed it. But I mean, I was just gonna like listen in on it. It was for like to know it, and it was just like overarching holiday strategies. I think more like Black Friday sales. Um, so I think they have like a recording on their website though, so I could probably look that up. Like to know it is an app where I link all my outfits and then also that's how I kind of create my gift guides for the season. That is called affiliate marketing where you get like a little bit of a commission on the sale. And I also do Amazon storefront affiliate marketing. So I kind of have two places that I kind of can get links from and share them with you guys. As a content creator, I think I make the most money from brand deals specifically at TikTok. Um, and then from my YouTube videos, I don't make really that much from AdSense, unfortunately, because I feel like I put a lot of time and effort into these YouTube videos, but it's really more for like my memories and just like a fun little thing to do. I can't even say like on the side anymore because it's not really on the side because this is kind of like my full-time thing. Um, but yeah, so brand deals, like to know it, Amazon, affiliate, and then I'm trying to think of other ways I make money as a content creator. I also do photography. So I am a photographer here in Austin, like you guys saw yesterday. That's how I make a good amount of my income every single year, especially between mm, February through May is my busy season for graduates at UT Austin. I probably do make money other ways <laughs> that I can't think of currently um but i just thought that would be interesting to share i feel so stupid though because i went to the coffee shop i thought i was prepared with my water i brought two muffins for us to eat i got my computer my charger my 
hard drive, my SD card reader, all of the things, and then I freaking forget my headphones. And I was like planning on editing videos there, um, which was fine because we were, you know, chatting and I really appreciate just like social time outside of the house, honestly, especially because I live alone and I work alone. And so that's definitely needed throughout the week. And I really love to plan like coffee dates or just like, you know, work at a coffee shop in advance so that I can like have something to look forward to to be able to get outside of my house um, because if it was only me going to a coffee shop I feel like I would just be like eh you know being at home feels really nice I'll just you know do that another day but I feel like if you actually make plans with someone else to get out of the house then you can't really flake um, so I really like to do that more often than not and I love to meet up with my creator friends because it just gives you so much motivation. Um, and even with Kiana, she's starting to do real estate. So if you guys need a real estate agent, definitely hit her up. I'll put her Instagram in the description. Um, she also can do like apartment locating, which is totally free on your end. So that's awesome. But I'm trying to kind of like teach her a little bit more about social media um, because I feel like that is a big part of honestly running any kind of business these days. Like you need to have a social media presence if you want your business to like be out there and, you know, get out there. I love how Sophie like, seems very interested in what I'm talking about. <laughs> Things I did do at the coffee shop because I don't want to say I didn't really get anything done. I booked a birthday brunch reservation and I'm so excited because it's at a place that I've been wanting to go for so long now. Like I've lived here for three years and it's been on my bucket list ever since. So really hoping the weather's good because it's kind of like an outdoor brunch place. Um, and then I got Sophie a grooming appointment. Yes, I'm sorry, but it had to happen. I am bringing her home with me and then I'm going to leave her home during Thanksgiving and then we're going to New York. So, you know, it was just like nice to leave her at home with the grandparents so we didn't have to pay for a pet sitter. And also I'm just gonna go back in December. So might as well just leave her at home. Um, so I wanted to get her like groomed and pretty and nice for, you know, seeing family. Um, and then let's see, what else did I do? Oh, I just booked our New York hotel and I'm so excited about it. Actually, it was a recommendation from Kiana and I won't post the link until I post like my New York vlog, but it was so much cheaper than what I was seeing on like the hotels. Even I was looking on Airbnb and I don't think I saw this one. And um, the Airbnb, the cheapest one I saw was like 2,900 for seven nights. And I know we're going during like the most busy time in New York probably and during the Rockefeller lighting and all that kind of stuff. But holy shit, I saw up to like 4,000, no, 3,900 for like a nicer hotel that I was like really wanting to stay at. But I was like, that is a lot of money. Ryan was kind of bringing me back down to earth and he was like, no, no, that's just like not smart because we're only gonna be sleeping there. And I was like, I know, but I wanna stay somewhere nice because I've been wanting to go to New York and especially during the holidays for so long. And I kind of want to just like ball out and our anniversary is coming up, you know, my birthday's coming up. And I'm, I was just like, you know, it's a good time to celebrate and go crazy, but it's a good thing that um, we waited and so thankful for this recommendation from Kiana because we're literally saving like almost $2,000 by booking this place, um, which $2,000 is still a freaking lot of money for seven days. Like that is insane. Well, actually, I don't know. Is that a good rate? I don't know. That just sounds like a lot of freaking money. But at the end of the day, we are going to New York and New York is not cheap. Now we'll have more money to spend on activities and food and all that i'm so excited about the food i have no idea like even where to go and what to eat all i know is i need to go to chacha matcha that sounds like so stupid and like i don't know like basic of me but i wanted to go in california when i was there but it was like in la and i don't think we went to la this past summer um because my family lives in irvine i was like that's okay i'll just go when i'm in new york so I love my matcha, so gotta get it. Um, but if you guys have any New York recs, please let me know. You can like DM me on Instagram if you like have a pre-made list. I know since I live in Austin, I already have like my pre-made list because I have so many people asking me, but any recs would be so appreciated, especially like dinners and like meals that aren't super like 
I guess basic and just like well known like I definitely want to try to eat at the more local spots but like I know me I'll just like look on TikTok and see you know the most well-known spot and I feel like there are probably better hole-in-the-wall restaurants and stuff so anyways I'm very excited about that and I also was looking for a birthday outfit um I am just wanting anything and everything to be sequins and glitter this year so it's kind of the theme So I did a little damage and I got a new bag and it's actually not from where you think it's from. <laughs> this is actually a fake and I bought it on DHgate and I don't know how to pronounce this brand but I'm gonna guess it's like Polen or Pol- I think it's like Polen and I think this is gorgeous. I'm actually still waiting on two more things from DHK. I bought like an Acme Studio scarf and then I also got another um, one of this brand's bags. And I literally just saw a TikTok today of the exact bag, which that one was probably real, but I'm just like not ready to make such a large designer purchase, like maybe next year, I don't really know. But also, especially with purses, like for some reason I'm just not really feeling like I could take that good of care of it, I guess. Um, Cause you know, whenever I'm at restaurants, I just like put my bag on the ground cause it's like not, you know, a really expensive bag. So I don't really care. Not that I don't care, I guess, but I just don't like think about it. Cause I've never really had like a really expensive designer bag. And I think I would be too scared to like actually take it out of my house if it was like, real but like i said never say never because one day i'll definitely purchase a designer bag a real one but for now dh gate will do and i will try to link it down below i've gotten a couple other purses on dh gate and some shoes i got some like really cool louis vuitton slides can't wait to get my next bag i guess i should probably open it up and see how much storage we're working with there's another strap I wonder if it can be like crossbody maybe. Okay. I feel like that's like a good amount of storage. And I feel like I don't really have like a very cute, like sophisticated white bag. So I think it's really cute. I also can never tell that anything's fake because I don't really have designer bags. Um, obviously sometimes like the gold can be a little too yellow. Um, but I feel like this bag looks pretty dang good. Good morning, it is Friday, and I was expecting today to be a really, really bad storm, which honestly, I think it's still coming, but I had a really early morning shoot um, at a blogger's house kind of in West Austin, and then I came home, uploaded the pictures, and now I'm off to lunch at one of my favorite restaurants in Austin, The Peacock, and I'm going with my friends Nagin and Shireen to catch up and just hang out, and I honestly don't even know what to wear because it's like kind of warm out, so I think I'm just gonna wear this like little button-down dress from Red Dress, and then my mules, which are like my favorite shoes ever because they're just so comfy. They're from Dolce Vita. I'm gonna drive us, so I gotta head down and get all my bags ready to go. Hello. Hi, Shireen. And it started downpouring, literally, as we're waiting for valet, of course. Oh, it's in park. <laughs> I've never been. And temperature dropped like literally, t what, 15 degrees within yeah. the past 30 minutes? It was hot. Terrifying. It's so cold. Yeah.
came home and changed right back into what I was wearing before and it would have been perfect for lunch but it was so wild how it got so cold so fast because I literally like just came back from like doing errands and it was like kind of hot and I was like sweating in this. It did end up raining a good bit um, but now I see like blue skies out. Um, and I think I'm just gonna stay in for the rest of the night. I just feel like I have so much to do like editing and then just like planning for the next week or two before No, I think I only have like one week before I go home for like a really long time I'm starting to plan my New York outfits and Seeing if I need to like purchase anything beforehand because I want to buy like good walking boots maybe or like Walking shoes possibly. I'm currently looking at ones from Sorel um and yeah they're really cute they have like a teddy texture on them i just wish i had like more reviews if they're really comfortable um because i'm just trying to find like really comfortable shoes because comfort is key i think i learned that when i went to italy earlier this year i went in april i think it was like end of april yeah it was end of april and we well, obviously it was during rainy season but we did get hit with like a lot of cold weather and I was telling myself I was like okay I'm gonna pack like one sweater and we're just gonna like hope that it's not that cold and that was so stupid of me like you know you can hope and pray that it's not gonna rain but you definitely should be more prepared than not so I learned my lesson and this time we are going to be super prepared I'm going to get like thermal like shirts for underneath I'm gonna bring gloves I'm gonna bring like thermal socks we're gonna do it all we're gonna bring it all so that I'm not uncomfortable because also New York is obviously a lot of walking and I just I'm a little nervous for that <laughs> definitely gonna bring my Apple watch to see how many steps I walk each day but I wanted to show you guys everything I got from the Sephora sale recently some things are restocks and then I just wanted to try a couple new products so these are the two restocks this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pen and it is in the color medium brown I love this pen so much it's so good that I restocked it I mean both these products are this product is a felt tip pen and it gives you those really pretty hair like strokes and then this is a foundation that I always go back to and it's just perfect for those days where you want to put on a little bit of makeup but you don't want to spend the time like blending it out it's just like a foundation stick and my mom used to use this when I was in like middle school and high school so I always used to steal it from her if I had like a little pimple or like I picked out my skin, I just want to cover it up. I almost used it like concealer um, and I just wanted to get a different color because now I'm obviously lighter. And then moving on to the new products, I got two brushes. Um, this one is the Pro Crease 26, so just for eyeshadow and then the Pro Liner 22 because I really want to get into doing those like brown like winged kind of like smudged out looks i've tried it before but i didn't really have like the right brush for it so i'm hoping that you know gives me what i want and then lip products that i got i love this charlotte tilbury lip liner the lip cheat and my friend kiera told me about this color iconic nude she says it's her go-to and her lips always look amazing so i decided to get it let me like zoom you guys in the lighting is like not amazing right now obviously because it's a little gross outside but it is truly a really good nude color so that's what that looks like and then i also got the tower 28 gloss and this is the first product i'm trying out from them um i got this gloss in the shade almond and it's just like this really nice brown gloss. So it just has like a little bit of color and it's really moisturizing and it like just feels more smooth than sticky. So that's amazing. Oh my gosh, this lighting. Okay, the other products I got, I obviously had to restock on the Laneige lip sleeping mask because i always put it on my nightstand i just got the scent vanilla i didn't want anything too like overpowering then i got the famous tiktok foundation i feel like this is like the new hype the house labs um skin tech foundation in the color 
where can I find it? Uh, medium cool and I tried it out the other day and it is wild that it really does not feel like you're wearing foundation but it is like definitely not a full coverage foundation like I'm used to with the Makeup Forever HC stick and also my favorite Charlotte Tilbury Flawless foundation. I do need to try to like build it up. I was kind of doing my makeup really fast that day and so I just kind of did like one layer. Um, but Ryan complimented my skin that day and like my makeup so must have been the foundation or it could have been this product which I was so excited about because I started following this one girl on TikTok and I really could not tell you her name because honestly, when I see people on TikTok, I just know them for their face. I barely like know anyone's names. Um, but she always talks about her Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. So this is a whole face palette in one. And I really thought it was going to be bigger, which I'm really glad it's not because I can travel with it. It's like pretty small. Um, and it comes with all of these colors. And I actually used to have like an ambient lighting powder. I think I still do. And I used to love it because it would just give me the prettiest glow. And I wanted like a new like fall blush. So I feel like this is just like a perfect palette. So that's everything I got from the Sephora sale. I feel like I have a lot of makeup and skincare that I want to play around with and try. But it sucks during the holidays because I am going back to Georgia and then flying straight to New York. Then coming back here for like maybe a week and then going back to Georgia. And... Obviously, I don't I can't take everything, but I want to be able to just like choose and you know play around with whatever. Uh packing is going to be such a bitch, guys. Like, especially because I'm going for winter and you know I want to bring home like coats and like boots and all that kind of stuff. Uh honestly, it might just be worth it to like ship home some jackets at least, because I feel like jackets are like light, they just take up so much space so that's a possibility all right speaking of coats i actually got a few to try on from dick's sporting goods i am obsessed with this one north face that's like belted um and i can't find the exact color anywhere but i did find the style in another color and i wanted to see what size i was because usually i order like an xl in winter coats because I want to be able to layer underneath but I just feel like I've been like purchasing clothes that are a little large for me I just feel like I'm used to like one sizing but I don't even feel like I lost like a ton of weight either I just feel like I dress a little bit baggier and sometimes it might not flatter me so I'm gonna try to start like actually looking into the sizing I literally just took my measurements too so in case I buy anything for New York I can get it exactly perfect and I definitely recommend to like always actually know your measurements when you're shopping online like I feel like everyone's like oh sometimes things just never fit and I'm like well are you actually looking at the size guide because that definitely helps I got these two North Face jackets two sizes and I do like this brown color a lot but there was this tan one on Poshmark for a little bit cheaper and I really wanted the tan color originally so I'm not gonna lie I just got these coats to try the sizes on so this is the XL I feel like it feels good like it doesn't feel too suffocating that's the worst thing about winter coats is that they can just make you feel like so restricted and I like that this has like a belt situation because then maybe it won't look as marshmallowy <laughs> okay this is cute and it has a hood when I was trying to buy these jackets the first time around my credit card <laughs> thought it was fraud so they were like we didn't charge your card so make the transaction again if you want it to go through I never got a Dick's confirmation email until the next morning when I got two confirmation emails and I called when they were like open, the customer service was open, and it was too late to cancel both the orders. So now I have two boxes of, actually four of the same jackets, just different sizes. And when I go to return these, I feel like the person is going to think I'm nuts. 
so that'll be fun. Okay, so this is the large. Oh, what's going on? I feel like it doesn't feel that different. What do we think? Do we like the jacket? I feel like it's cute and I just want to invest in like a really good jacket because I have a black, I think it's North Face, it might be Patagonia, but a black puffer and it's a little bit of a thinner material. I have had that jacket for years. Like these jackets, like puffer jackets especially, are such a good investment. It's like you can wear them every single year and I feel like especially if you get like solid neutral colors, they won't go out of style. I invited Shireen over earlier because I have these sweet Loren cookies that I don't want to go to waste and I totally forgot I invited her over. <laughs> My apartment is like horrendously a pigsty right now and I'm sweating because I was just trying to like tidy up like a little bit. Um, my stuff is all over the kitchen counter because that corner still needs to get done and so it's not going to be the prettiest but at least I cleaned the bathroom, which is the most important part. I'm just like, you know, tidied up a little bit. I honestly love having people over though because it gives me <laughs> like a reason to tidy up because if it's just me, things can get pretty freaking messy around here. And I'm not proud of that. I just put the fan on because I actually burnt some rice when I was just cooking earlier. So I'm gonna light my favorite candle. I cannot have it smelling like burnt rice. This is strip lights in my last vlog, but or maybe my couch video, I honestly can't remember. But the obsession is still there. It just makes the room feel so cozy. And you can like change the colors and everything on an app, which is really cool. I got it on Amazon and honestly it was a lot cheaper than I thought it would be. We just made sweet Lorenz cookies and I asked her, I was like, do you like flaky salt? Yes. And she said yes. <laughs> salty <laughs> So we're just gonna put a little bit. Should I put on all of them? Yeah, sure, why not? This is the best part. Yeah. Do you want milk? Um, uh, I'm lactose intolerant. Yeah, I, I have, have lactate all... milk. Oh, I've never had that. Really? Yeah. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> How are you lactose intolerant and haven't had it? I don't know it. if I like the taste of milk. Oh, okay. But I'm down to try it. Yeah, I can pour you a little and then I also have oat milk, so. Also, I say I'm going to some toilet without the ice cream. Oh, 100%. Don't we all? <laughs> yeah. So I'm like truly not. I feel like everyone's lactose intolerant low key though. I think it's mm -hmm. just the thought of milk that I'm like, ooh, I don't know. Really? Interesting. Okay, well, honestly, like to me, well, I haven't had milk in a while, but it really does taste something very similar. You can just put like a little just for dipping. Oh, I should have made, oh. So you do it a smaller or like a I can I no, I have the perfect cup. <laughs> yes. Okay. But I want you to sip it too. That's and good. then I can do you want me to pour more for dipping? Oh, oh, this is good. I don't I've never, I haven't had milk in so long. Like raw. Yeah. <laughs> well this isn't this isn't milk. milk. <laughs> okay. Mm. Like it doesn't really taste like that much. much. Yeah. Okay, it tastes like cereal. <laughs> my makeup and I'm ready to get into my cozies but honestly I still have so much work to do like I have so much editing to do and I did make a purchase for New York and I bought these boots right here they are from Dolce Vita and I've actually been wanting to get these caster boots I think they're called the caster boots but these are like a different kind than I originally wanted um they're just like a lower heel they're waterproof and they're a different color than I was um, originally looking at and I just feel like they might be good walking shoes. I looked at reviews and they said they were really comfortable. So I'm really hoping that they are and I just feel like they look a lot more classic than the ones I was looking at from Sorel because um, they had like the Sherpa and 
even though I love that and I do have like a lot of things that are Sherpa, I know it is a trendy thing. So I definitely feel like the Dolce Vita ones are going to be more classic. Um, but I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life video. If you guys like long vlogs, definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you guys are not already following me on Instagram and TikTok, go ahead and do so. It is so underscore gnarly without the G. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.